very bright, very bright. A baguette. I think the front, the front plate helps it. Here in the UAE, um, we are here for a holiday, but we are out and about, and we forgot to press the button on the elevator. It's a new hotel, I'm gonna show you around in a second. And then more importantly, I'm gonna take you around our automobile during this trip, and later on, uh, I'm thinking a burger tour. G-Wagon is the best car in existence. I said it. Uh, best car in existence is a very strong thing to say. The music's loud here. So what I'm gonna do now is do a little YouTube montage hotel show thing. Yeah, as you can tell, it's a very nice looking hotel. It's very modern. So this is like the reception to reception, where you drop off the car, where you get out of your car. There's a lot here. Um, it just speaks on the volume of this hotel. It's a huge hotel. Um, it's hard to explain uh, the size of it, but time for you guys to meet our ride whilst we're here, or whilst we've been here. Um, the, I'm gonna say G-Wagon. It's not a G-Wagon, but it's a G-Wagon. So you'll see in a second. It's a Brabus G800, so we say a G-Wagon, tuned by Brabus. Um, in this wonderful purple colour, um, as you can tell, not a stock exhaust and not stock wheels. It looks more aggressive, it is wider. Um, there is a Nissan Patrol going past. Um, it's wider, it looks more aggressive. Um, there's some things about it that I like, some things about it that I don't like, but I rented it from my friend Ahmed, who owns a car rental agency here in Dubai, and I think it looks rather gorgeous. Don't you agree? I love it. Um, it's, it's nice to drive around it and um, the 800 if you haven't guessed means it's been tuned to have 800 horsepower which I can confirm it definitely has but yes we're gonna jump in now I'll give you an interior view how it rides and then I'll go on to the exterior in a moment it's very hot interior is in orange <laughs> your skirt darling your dress I say but yeah it's got vents on the side not real unfortunately Brabus kids um, a lot of the uh, styling, a lot of the vents are just for uh, making it look more aggressive. Vents on the hood, again, not active. Um, the original vents at the bottom are. The car is wider by a few millimeters, as you can tell. Um, wider track as well, so they uh, put spaces on it. Uh, if we come around to the side, you can see a new running board. Um, spoiler on the top that makes it higher. Doesn't do anything for aerodynamics or speed. Carbon on the back, uh, a lot of carbon fiber, in fact. Even like these things here are carbon fiber. And we have the lights on the front that make the car higher as well. And again, orange interior. So I'm gonna jump in now. Let me uh, hand this to my wife, thank you very much. There's the uh, hotel again. It's huge, as you can tell. Uh, it's no joke. You probably noticed the roof light, which I am not a fan of. Roof lighting looks great in Rolls Royce cars, but I feel like in every other car, it's just not done as well as it is done in Rolls Royce. But whilst we are sitting here and we are in the interior, um, as you can see, the car's been retailored in this orange leather. It looks nice the closer you get to it, and I guess over time, it just doesn't fit like OEM, uh, like OEM would. So it, it has imperfections, but at the same time. It looks good. If you're looking for something a bit more exciting than the standard black or white or brown G-Bag interior, this is a very, very interesting way to go. And I think Mercedes should probably look into doing orange because I feel like it suits the car a lot. Um, other than that, it's pretty much standard G63 in here. So carbon everywhere. Bonnet scoop, you can see it says Brabus on there in uh, orange as well. The windows down. Um, AC is still blasting. The cars are honed in to perform better in hot environments, which uh, this one does. And I think, um, despite this being general traffic in Dubai, um, it still stands out because of Brabus. So we just picked up my friend Brad, GT3 RS Brad, back here. Um, and now I'm gonna quickly take you around the car as we wait for Dan, my other friend, 
who has a 720S, but not here in Dubai, as an X6M. But here is our um, car um, in all its glory. So it's again the G63, but G800, so V8, um, 800 horsepower tuned by Brabus. You have a Brabus grill that makes it more imposing. Again, orange interior. Um, you have the Brabus um, bonnet scoop, which isn't active, or um, is it real, I should say? Um, unfortunately, uh, it is carbon fiber, but then it doesn't actually do any cooling, which is a shame. I think they could have just opened it up, it would have looked pretty cool. But again, aerodynamics and other issues. Um, you have these roof lights, which in the UK you can't use. A, because they're illegal, and B, because it makes the car too high. You can get them on the car, but you just have to remember that they're there. Um, unfortunately, it can, can cause issues. The Brabus wheels, so they are larger than standard wheels on the G62. I believe these are 23s. Uh, they look really good. Uh, Brabus exhaust system. As we go around the car, you can see the Brabus um, front skirt, front lip uh, in carbon fiber. Um, we go around to the side, you get more vents here with the illuminated Brabus logo. You also have um, Brabus lights on the Brabus running board. I keep saying Brabus, I'm gonna stop now. Um, again, the car is wider, and um, that's because it makes the car look more aggressive, and then you can fit all these vents in. Um, again, not real, but they do look cool. And then we have the spoiler on top, carbon fiber, not adding any downforce, but again, looking cool, and it raises the height of the car, which is a bit um, of a scramble, because um, low parking areas is a bit of an issue. Brabus tire box, tire box, is that what we call it? I can't remember, at the rear and um, Brabus badging. So yeah, no, it's really cool. Um, I remember the memes on um, TikTok when people were like, um, yeah, my boyfriend or my ex-boyfriend um, had a fake Mercedes. The logo was a B. Brabus is like the tuned up version, um, comparable to uh, other companies such as Mansori in a way. They no longer do just Mercedes, they do other cars as well now. And coincidentally, behind we have a regular G63. So you can see, although it looks much cleaner, um, it's not as aggressive in styling and shape um, as the Brabus. And again, this purple, I'm a purple fan, so I may be biased, you may not like purple. I like purple, so I think it works. But again, you may not think it works, but I think it does. So just to give you an idea of how cheap gas is here, um, we are at 2.8 Durham per liter. Um, so in the in the UK to fill up the G wagon, how much is it to fill up G wagon? 150, 140. Yeah. Right. Well, 150, 140, maybe more. So it was 243 AD to fill up a G wagon to full from empty. Crazy. That's about 45 pounds. Fuel here is literally a third of the price. Um, I just checked on my app and it says that to fill up cost me 50, 51 pounds equivalent, so damn. We're going to Dubai Mall. I'm just giving you one more look around the car in several different lighting conditions. Uh, again, this Viola Pacifate, I think it's the Lamborghini color. It looks really nice. I think my issue is with the Brabus kit, um, it's very dependent on where you get it done, who you get it done by. Otherwise, it could look maybe a bit tacky if it's not done properly, but in this color, I'm not too mad. I think it would, I personally would probably get it in just like a white G-Wagon or a black G-Wagon, just to make it a bit more subtle. I think the kit does enough that it doesn't need to be any louder or any brighter. But yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I'll put them on small. Should we go over there? Should we go over there? I like these. What do you think of the jacket? I love the jacket as well, but you probably wouldn't wear it as much as the, the trainers. And you're probably wondering, if you're in Dubai Mall, how come you're moving around on some motorized vehicle? And well, they don't call me Tommy Auto for no reason. Currently, <laughs> Dubai Mall EV Transport. Brad, having a great time? It's really fun. That's the car we were riding around in. 750S actually looks pretty insane. It's probably one of the better specs I've seen. I think the front the front plate helps it. Yeah, no carbon. But still a sexy 750S. Yeah, it's still very nice. I like these body color splitters. Do you know what? This is this is this looks a whole interior tan interior. That looks nice. I like that. And here's our GTA uh, G wagon, uh, Brabus G wagon. It actually looks quite comedic to look at um, but yet I still love it it's a vibe and let's get the exhaust tone while we're here
so yeah, here's the G-Wagon looking all pristine and nice. There's a Bugatti in the background. People are getting it, I don't want to film that. But this is looking awesome. Check that out. You will see a Bugatti driving off because you're in Dubai. And this is the room you're staying in. This is my face. I don't know how, why I just did that. Uh, excuse the mess. We are getting ready to leave. But um, as you can see, it's a wonderful, wonderful looking room. Um, you've got an office space here where I edited my BMW M8 video. Like I was saying earlier, this is um, an amazing hotel. I think it's probably the best hotel I've ever stayed in, in terms of just like what it has, the amenities, and also the quality of the service and how luxurious the rooms are. Luxuriously, <laughs> luxurious the rooms are. Um, I, when we're in Dubai, we usually stay in a place called San Regis, which you can see from here. Well, I can see, you guys won't be able to see it as it's very dark outside um, as I press my face against the window. Um, but yeah, this is just next level. The G-Wagon, Brabus G-Wagon pull up now. The AC of cars in Dubai is so powerful that I know it's already cold in there. Um, but so begins the burger tour. So I picked up, I picked up uh, Dan and Brad to visit <laughs> Dubai's best burger spots. But um, other than that, we're currently in the Brabus G63 uh, or the G800. Uh, thoughts, guys, with the <laughs> Christmas tree roof going crazy. It's, at the it's sharp as well. I I like how fast the car is. It I would is, say. It's I like how loud it is. Yeah, yeah it's very. Very loud. I'm um, currently. Uh, this is Viola Pacife, isn't it? This is the Lambo oh, so purple, yeah. So it's Viola. Three. He's six foot three. Look how tall it is. We'll be back in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. First location, it's Salt, and we're gonna basically what we're doing at every burger location is getting the simplest burger we can get. Best burger is our new launch. You can try the Salt Burger. That's the best one. Best, you can try the truffle. We're gonna get three, we're getting three salt burgers, yeah, and one truffle fries. Team with salt burger, this place is known for their salt burger. It's one of the best burger places in Dubai, apparently. We're gonna be the judge. Front back. Now that's definitely gonna be the start of the video. The burgers have arrived now. Look at that, looking delicious, looking sweet. How you feeling, how you feeling? How you feeling? What are we saying, one bite, then give it a rating? We, we should give it a, a rating out of 10 right now for appearance. Uh, before appearance? They, before they appearance, I'll give it a strong... What would you say? We have to give a shout out to our guy. Come on, man. Yeah, we have to give a shout out to our guy. Yeah. Hooking yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah sorting out. Wipes. Thank you very much. Out of 10, the appearance, I would say... I'm is seven. Seven. I'm saying seven, eight. I'm going for a solid 8.2. I'm not going to go for the nine just because I feel like the burger could just be a little bit firmer in terms of the <laughs> texture. And, oh. yeah. So... <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. There. Mmm. 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 Wow. Oh, that's looking. Wow. That's looking all right, you know. The bun is soft. The onions are crispy, but not um, dry. The patty could use more salt, I would say. I would say the sauce is overflavored because you want to be able to taste that meat. Massacred is. <laughs> we still have burger stuff. How did you finish that so quickly? Well, price saying they're good. Mm -hmm. they're the fries are probably. Better than the burger. Oh. Oh wow. Rating for the burger. 7.5. Rating for the burger. 7.3. <laughs> okay. I'll give it 7.5 as well. Um, so I think we're an average 7.5 here. Dan's being difficult as always. The fries, however, I would give the fries. You know what? What would you give the fries? As fries go, they're a strong nine. nine. I would give them a nine. Nine point two. I'll give them at 8.5 as well. We're not here rating fries, but fries accompany a burger, so we should tie those two things together. So the fries and the burger, we'll give that an overall eight. I'll give it an overall eight. Yeah, let's go eight. Overall eight, so salt, Dubai, overall eight. So Brabus has uh, taken the car and um, made it a bit more aggressive, a bit more sporty and increased the performance. Uh, a little high beam flash. Very bright, very bright. But right now we're in Dubai and it's about uh, 44 degrees. So it's very hot, but uh, we'll keep the burger tour moving. I like orange interiors, but I don't like it when the dash is orange, the sides are orange, the carpet's orange and the roof is orange. I feel like you need a bit of black in there just to balance it out. 800 horsepower, no, wow. Move. So our next spot is Pickle. 
and we're in uh, Dubai Harbour, I think. This being Brad's first time in Dubai, uh, what are your thoughts? It's bloody hot. Yes. Very hot. Probably shouldn't have come in summer. Yeah, no, not in summer. Dan, any, anything to add? So I'm honoured to have him here, even though he doesn't bath. <laughs> hey Brad, do you want to um, explain that? I don't even get that joke. And that's why the joke is funny. So this is the menu. These are the burgers. Hello. Oh, it was two eleven. This place is two eleven. So very competitive with the pricing. <laughs> so Dan wasn't sure by the name, but look at this. That is a serious looking burger. This is going to be a good burger. Brad, what are you thinking? For looks, I think it is going to taste good. It's like a bit more of a smash burger than smash the patty. One. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if it's smashed or hand pressed, oh. but it means no th no difference to me. Appearance wise, uh, where are we? What do you think? You know, I'm going to say six point five. Uh, I think that's long. justified. Yeah, there's bits of burn, it's a bit messy. No, but it looks it looks authentic. Um, really strict, but I want to call it a 5.8 for appearance. Wow. wow. The reason for that is that the crispy salads look way too crispy, in my opinion. Mmm. I'm liking that. That's Fresh off the stove. Well salted. This is well salted. Dog burger seems to be quite polarizing in terms of how we feel about it. I mean, it's a decent looking burger. There is flavor, the meat is well salted. My only issue with this burger is that it came hot, but it felt like the more I ate it, the better it got, like it was creeping. So I would call this a creeper, but when you eat a burger, you don't want a creeper. You want that instant gratification, that instant reward. Yes. Yeah, it's better than a fire burger. Yeah, but it's not quite. Salt. Compared to what you could salt. get in the UAE and what we've had so yeah, far, no, no, nowhere close. The whole experience with salt was better yeah. as well. Like the the chips were better. Yeah, I, I didn't even speak about these. These are just generic fries. Yeah. Nothing special. I give salt a six point three. I'm oh, sorry. I give pickle a six point three. I'm gonna give it a solid five point nine. I'm going flat six, six out of ten. I think the average score we have, Bosh. <laughs> and the average score we have is a six. So yeah. we're giving this a six, including the fries. Maybe if you came here by itself, you'd give it a high score, but in comparison to salt, which you had previously, doesn't cut it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was mad. That was mad. Yeah, okay, this thing's definitely properly tuned, bro. This is dropping a 720 off the line. So as you can see, I'm currently recording on my handheld mobile phone device because someone left the camera in the car. However, we are in Izu Burger and we have ordered uh, two, that's Brad, we've ordered two Wagyu beef potato bun burgers. I look very, we all look quite like we've been through hell because we've had to walk about 300 meters uh, in 44 degree heat <laughs> and 60% um, humidity at night. I think this is the best presentation uh, so far during this trip. So um, the burgers are wrapped in foil, obviously to keep in moisture, to keep in warmth, but it also adds a bit to the occasion, you know, you get to unwrap something. Whoa. We've eaten a lot, so we're starting, we're starting the fries. Oh, the fries are exciting though. It seemed upmarket. So we're Time gonna try to and the... dig into the burger now. The fries there. These are the best fries we've had, I think. Yeah, they're so serious. Like, overall flavor, seasoning, crispiness, um, still soft on the inside, Loads the cheese, it just feels like it's made of high quality materials. This doesn't feel like fast food. This was like a gourmet burger. This guy's stretching. <laughs> Look at that. Neat. Neat. You see, do you know what this is? Even if you're full, because it's presented so well and the, mid the, uh, the ingredients seem high quality, it looks like it's going to just be delicious. Best burger of the day. So far. <laughs> Best burger of the day so far. Wow. Hands wow. down. Wow, 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 wow. Even though I'm full. They're sweet, they're savory. Even though I'm full. And they still eat this, which is insane. Oh. Brad, whoa. <laughs> what number would you give this? Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten? Solid nine. Solid, solid nine out of ten, because Brad made a good point. Would you like to say it again? If we hadn't had the burgers we've already had, and we wanted to come to one place tonight for a nice burger, we're picking here. Picking here. And the fries, again, nine. Oh, yes. Um, the, the nar narrative of tonight has changed a bit because we had no more space for burgers, so we're going to return another time. Dan decided to say we should get these milkshakes and um, they're about what, 20 pounds each. Oh they, uh, <laughs> he doesn't like cream. I don't like cream at they, all. They, uh, it tastes like, well, this uh, kind of you remember Nesquik? So look who's joined us. 
uh, basically what happened with our burger twist there, we went to go to Saltway Burger after Easy Burger and um, we just couldn't. Saltway Burger, they weren't very nice to us in there, so we ended up not getting a burger, not continuing the burger run, but we're here today at Maison de la Plage, um, so Chef Izu at Izu Burger, he owns this restaurant as well, and um, Sorry. we're not okay, getting Izu okay. Burgers okay. again, because I think Izu Burgers won, it's sure. just cleared everything, so we are unofficially declaring Easy Burger the best burger you can get in Dubai. That's what we're thinking. So we're at Maison de la Plage now, and um, I got pasta because I'm a basic guy. Beef short rib, beef short rib, beef short rib, and uh, potatoes, potatoes, asparagus. This is very good. So this isn't quite the end of the burger tour that we thought it was, but Brad, how do you feel about the food? This is amazing. This is better than the burgers, 100%. Dan? I'm yet to try it, so I will reserve my comments. <laughs> Camille? Delicious. Absolutely amazing. I haven't tried. Let me let me tuck in. So it's not going in it, right? No. Oh, yeah. What is that? Mac and cheese? Wow. So I've given the uh, G800 back now. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get it again because it is our last day. Um, so I thought I'd give a quick wrap up and I could do the generic, oh, this is automotive YouTube. The car's great. It's flawed and blah, 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 blah. I'm going to give it to you in Tommy style uh, vibes. Um, the way I see it, the Brabus cars are amazing. I do think it gives the G63 a bit more personality. The car's got a lot of personality already, but I think it just makes it a bit more quirky, a bit more unique and a bit more exciting when done tastefully. Um, I don't mind purple. You know, I like purple. Uh, I if I was doing a Brabus, which I've considered in the past, uh, I've got a good connection with Brabus in the UK. Brabus in the UK have a rigorous um, quality control program. Um, they make sure that when the cars leave the, their factory, um, they're the highest standard. They use original Mercedes-Benz leather on the interior and they like dye it and stuff. Anyway, like I'm saying, if I was going to get a Brabus, which I have considered, I would get a Brabus car exactly like the one, G63, do the G800 tune, trust me, it makes the car so much better to drive, just more responsive, it doesn't feel as sluggish, it makes the gearbox snappier as well. Um, I would also do a lot of the kit parts, I would not do the front uh, bonnet, because the artificial, the fake uh, vents, I'm not a fan of, it just doesn't look right to me, uh, it's not connected to the engine bay at all, so I wouldn't do that. I, uh, I, I would do the lights, I think, despite the height being an issue in the UK. Um, I wouldn't do the spoiler because the height's an issue. The widening, the widening of the body, I have no issues with. I think that's beautiful. And um, the lights on the side, no issues with whatsoever. The Brabus logos, I wouldn't want them to be blue. I'd want them to be white. I think blue can clash. Um, when it comes to uh, the interior, I would um, pretty much just try and leave that as standard as possible. Because when you're taking leather off and reapplying leather, it's never going to be perfect. Um, it can be as close to perfect as possible, but it will never be like perfect, perfect. So I, I just would be apprehensive of doing that. Anyway, I'm ranting here. It's a great car. But yeah, uh, that was the video. Um, we're going to the airport in the morning. I need to pack, so I'll see you. Or I won't see you. I'll see you later. But remember to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and different style of video. And unfortunately, we did not complete our burger run. So I apologize. But we uh, established that Easy Burger is the best burger in the UAE. Until next time, I'll be back. No, that's not. Anyway, bye.